welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Jackie. I hope you hit that subscribe button to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So today I am going to go Christmas decorations shopping. I haven't done this since 2019. This is my second video of doing that and I'm so excited. So I've been planning this out for a while now and I can't wait to decorate. My decorating video will be next video but for now we're just going to shop for all the decorations. I have a few things in mind. Hopefully I can execute it in real life. So I actually already been Christmas decoration shopping. I actually went to Target and TJ Maxx first because they're right beside me. But I am also gonna go to an old shopping center I used to live by. I got a lot of my decorations at Target and the 99 cent store. Those were my go-to when I lived in West Hollywood. But now since I live in Oxnard, there's so many other stores that I can go to. So we're gonna explore those together. But before we do that, let me show you my outfit of the day and then we can head out and go shopping. Here is my OOTD to go decoration shopping. I'm so excited. So I just curled my hair. I don't have a hair accessory to match this outfit or this bodysuit, I mean. Speaking of bodysuit, this is from Target last year. I wore it so many times in Vlogmas. And then these paper bag trousers are from Shein. The belt is from ASOS a few years ago. I'm just wearing some white slip-on <laughs> shoes and then a nude and black bag because as i said i don't know really what to match with this outfit i need to buy a green bow or headband to match this outfit so yeah that is the look at what i'm wearing to go christmas decoration shopping today now that i showed you my outfit i'm going to take you along with me first i'm going to insert the footage from when i went to target and then tj maxx a few days ago and then afterwards it's going to be where i go to the stores i'm heading to today so let's just go decoration shopping shall we <music> I just got done. Gonna go check out now. It is cute. What does it say? That's cute. Following with me. I like this pink one. This is cute. Mm -hmm. $3.99. What does this one look like? Oh, that's cute. There's so many cute ones. Oh, look at this one, Yari. What is that? It's a puppy. Look at the puppy ones. Oh, this is cute. This is what I need for the toaster.
so I just got back from shopping and I filmed my haul video. Everything was good. I put everything away, imported the footage, and it turns out that I filmed in slow motion. So there was no audio and I went like this the whole time. But let's try this again, shall we? I remember what order I filmed everything. You just won't see the unboxing anymore. I did a whole unboxing. You saw my reaction to all my Christmas decorations. I was so excited. I was so happy. And now I don't want to film this again, but I'm going to because if not, there will be no video. So yeah, I'm disappointed in myself that I didn't check that. It's a new camera. I don't know how to film on it yet. I went to a few different stores. I went to Walmart, the 99 cent store, and Marshalls, my favorite to go to. I was supposed to go to more, but they were closed, sadly, or closing, so I couldn't do that anymore. But we'll probably do some more Christmas decoration shopping in Vlogmas. I'm obsessed with Christmas decorations and decorating my new apartment, which I'm really super excited for. So I'll show you all my Christmas decorations. A lot of it is going to be for my bedroom and my bookshelf behind me. And then a few pieces are for out in the living room. Also, I think I'm going to decorate my kitchen and bathroom as well, because why not? I live alone, finally. I do not have any roommates. I have this whole apartment to myself. So I'm really excited to put decorations everywhere I want to and no one can say anything. I still live with my dad, but he doesn't care. As long as I'm happy, as long as I want to decorate the whole entire thing, he's good. I'm just gonna show you the decorations that I got in store at Target when I went the 1st of November, I believe. I got it a while back, so I'll show you that now. I just picked up four things in that lip, if you saw in the beginning. So I got some ornaments as well as some bottle neck, no, bottle brush Christmas trees. So I'm just gonna start off with this. They're so pretty. They were only $5. I got a two pack. This one goes from like a dark red to like a hot pink to a blush pink, which I love that. And then this one's just a cream and blush pink. I can't wait to put these behind me because I think they'll just look so cute. I haven't bought like bottle brush trees before and I see them all over Pinterest. So I got me two of these and I got three ornaments. The first one I accidentally bought again. I already have this. I thought I had it in gold. Turns out I had it in rose gold. So now I have two of these again, but I don't care. They're really cute. This was one of the first ornaments that I bought when I moved here to LA and I just bought the crown because it represents my blog and then my username Fashion X Fairy Tale. I associate fairy tale with crowns. So yeah, I got another rose gold one. Speaking of crowns, I got this one. I saw this on Instagram. Someone featured it in their reels and I was like, I need that. So I picked it up. It was again $3 and this one's like a plush crown. I just think it's super cute and it will look perfect on my pink ornament themed Christmas tree. And then last ornament is a special one. So ever since 2018 when I moved here, I will always find uh, ornaments with Q's on it. Q is my last name. So it's very rare. I can hardly find things with Q. So when I see them, I buy them. So this is this year's version. It's become a tradition. It's my favorite tradition. One of these days, I'm going to have a Christmas tree full of Q ornaments. I love this tradition that I accidentally came up with and I just love putting my last name on Christmas trees. I don't know why. I thought it was cute. This is this year's version. $3. I love it. Now we have more from Target. These are all the garlands that I bought. So I got these a few weeks back as well. So some of them were on back order so I didn't get them in time and they came in different boxes. But first off I got this white and gold snowflake one. I thought I would put this at the edge of my footboard right here on my bed. And then this one just came in. I have been wanting a candy cane garland like this for so long. It's something that I've seen on Pinterest and I could never find until now. I have a candy cane themed Christmas tree and I just wanted the fabric candy canes to hang up. And I found one. So snatched that up. 
I think I got the last one in stock so so glad that I got it it was ten dollars and I'm just so excited to put this one up last year I got a Merry Christmas banner I was trying to replace all my paper banners and garlands with fabric ones and I had a red and green one but it doesn't match my theme of my room so I just decided to get this one in pink and red I think it will match even better I'll use the old one from last year out in the living room because it matches better last one are jingle bells I love this it's so pretty it has pink and red velvet bows which is darling I love those colors and I love velvet for the holidays and they're just gold bells some of them are matte some of them are glossy so I thought that was cute too and they actually do ring so that is going to be fun don't know where I'm gonna hang all these garlands yet but I have a few options sadly I do not have a fireplace anymore but I'll find a way to hang them somewhere in this apartment next target box came these items first is this sign it says let's get cozy it's so cute it has a pink pom-pom up here and this was only five dollars i was thinking of putting it on my shelf back here either hanging it or just leaning it against the wall so i thought that was so cute and fits the theme that I was going with. Then we just have a wreath hanger. This was $5 as well. I'm doing an experiment to see which can go on my front door because uh, the one that I bought previously did not. So hopefully this is, it is a shiny silver. Don't ask me why I got a silver wreath hanger because a lot of my theme is gold. I don't know why I went with silver, but I got this. Then we got some Christmas lights like i don't have enough christmas lights as it is so i got this one this is clear mini lights with the green wire because i'm going to do something with these in a minute i'll show you that and then i got some green wired colored lights because my dad was complaining that i have a lot of warm lights because it matches everywhere i have warm lights all around my apartment and he wanted some color lights for christmas so i granted his wish and just got some colored lights and this was only like two dollars and this was three dollars making it five dollars which is such a good bargain and i use them all the time anyway so i picked more up because why not then we have the last thing in the second target box that i unboxed i wish you could have seen the reaction i had to this pretty pink house i just love it i'm still like gushing over how cute it is it is just the most darling piece in the world i should put it in frame i don't really know how to film with this camera yet apologies but it is so cute it has like white glittery snow on top and it's like a pink iridescent glitter for the actual house and it's supposed to light up but i don't have batteries in it yet it's gonna look so cute behind me i'm probably going to put it back there uh, after this clip but i just love it it's so cute and i can't wait to put all the decorations with it i don't know if you can see it but it's gonna go back there and then next up i bought the mini bottle brush trees with it it was also five dollars and it matches the two pack that i showed you earlier and i just thought it would look so cute with the house back there and look at those trees i just love the colors it's going to be perfect for what i have in mind and yeah i just love the aesthetic of these so couldn't resist picking these up then lastly i got this garland i just got a nine foot garland uh, it's not pre-lit or anything that is why i bought these separate lights this was only five dollars the lights were two dollars so seven dollars for a garland when the pre-lit one was like 25 or 30. i just saved money by diying it myself i'm probably gonna get annoyed by that option but i don't mind i saved the money so i just got some garland that i'm gonna put at the top of my window in the living room so i can't wait to show you that 
and you'll see that in my Christmas living room decorating series. Now we're gonna move on to the stuff I bought today at Walmart. I bought quite a few things, so let me get it out. It was in a bag all together. First up are these ornaments. They're just the most darling things in the world. I love it. It's going to go perfect with my pink Christmas tree theme. So this is just another yarn pom-pom kind of Christmas ornament, which was $1.98. So I love that. I'm not sure if I'm going to hang it as an ornament or just put it on my bookshelf back there. But this one has to be my favorite ornament that I picked up this year because it represents my travels over the summer. I went in a RV, motorhome, trailer, whatever you call it. I went in one over the summer with my dad and his best friend. We road trip to California. We went to Nevada. It was so much fun, so this represents that. So this was again $1.98. Then I just got some ornament hooks. You can't go wrong. I just lose these like crazy. So I picked up $150 for like $0.98. Cents. So now I have spares and backups when they fall off my Christmas tree. Next up, we have more stuff. I'm going to start off with the tree star that I got. Mine, unfortunately, is breaking. It's not broken yet, but it's hanging on by a thread. So this part right here is kind of like losing it. I've had it since 2018, and I've always wanted to buy a lit up one, and I never did until now. So it lights up. It's so cute. I love that. So yeah, it's just gold. It's going to match my tree perfectly. And it was only $11.98. It is an LED tree topper warm white so that is what my christmas tree is anyways but my christmas tree is from target and this is from walmart but who cares the christmas tree doesn't know where it, all the decorations on it are from so pick that up can't wait to add it to my christmas tree because right now it looks really bald it's all decorated but it doesn't have the final piece and i'll have to add that in you'll see that soon my baby christmas tree for the bedroom couldn't be left out so i got one for it as well this one is 4.98 and it's warm white as well but it's like more clear hopefully this fits on my three foot tree that i'm going to put behind me you'll see that video as well but i just thought that was so cute and then i got a christmas tree skirt for it since that tree didn't have a skirt so i just got a pink one to match the blush pink theme and then it has these like white pom-poms to represent snow and my comforter actually has pom-poms so it ties in so i thought that was cute and it was only $3.98. And here is the last thing that I got from Walmart. So I got a wreath. My wreath that I bought at the 99 cent store is really pathetic. It's really small, but me and my mom did it together back in 2019. So I can't get rid of it because it has like sentimental value, but I wanted a bigger one maybe to put as a like centerpiece in the living room. This one is pre-lit. I don't know why I bought a pre-lit one, but the garland I refused to, maybe because this was only $9.98 and the garland was $25. I don't know why sometimes they can be so expensive. So here is what it looks like. It's pretty good quality. I can't wait to decorate it with the stuff that I'm about to show you. So I bought some decorations for it because I'm going to DIY that part of it. So I got these red and gold poinsettias. They're glittery. They're so pretty. I love the colors of them and they're going to match my Christmas tree perfectly. So behind is just like a twist tie so it will be easy for me to tie them on there. And I just love that. So I picked two up. They were $1.98 each. Then I got these. I thought they would look cute. They aren't like real jingle bells. They don't jingle. They're fake but i thought they were cute anyways and they would match my christmas tree theme as well so yeah i just have these so i'm going to diy that on my other video stay tuned for that let's see how long it takes me i'm not the best at diying stuff i always end up yelling at it but hey i'm going to do that because in the end it is worth it don't you think so picked all four of those up and I can't wait to decorate. I say that now, 
but I will get frustrated. Watch me. Next up, we have the 99 cent store. I went there next and you know me by now, if you've watched my channel long enough, I do love buying my decorations at the 99 cent store. They've held up great. They have quite a bit of stuff. I was really surprised this year at how much uh, the one I went to had and they had a lot of new stuff. Sometimes they just repeat it. That's why I didn't buy much last year, but this year they had quite a bit. So this is quite heavy. I'm going to put it down now and show it to you. Obviously, I'm going to show you the tree first. I'm so excited for this and I really wanted another tree. It's not like I don't have a million Christmas trees as it is. During fall, I have 50 million pumpkins and I guess during Christmas, I have 50 million Christmas trees. So this one lights up, which is fun. And I was initially going to get it for my kitchen but I underestimated how low my uh, counters were and how high the cabinets were. So unfortunately, this thing is too tall for that. So I might have to put it in my bathroom, which how fun, I get to put a Christmas tree in my bathroom. This was $4.99 and it is a 24 inch tree. So yeah, I can't wait to decorate this. I have more decorating to do and it's just really cute and I can't wait to put more on it and it just has a burlap bottom so yeah maybe I'll buy a little one to put in my kitchen. Either way I'm excited to decorate this Christmas tree and have a Christmas tree in my bathroom. Then we have all the goodies in here. First I'm going to take the advent calendars out. Me and my dad always open up our advent calendar every day on vlogmas so stay tuned for that. I just got the same ones that I get every single year. They're 99 cents. They're good. I can't wait to do that with my dad for the third year in a row so pick those up. Speaking of my dad, he picked this out and apparently this is going to be a gift for himself on Christmas. So he loves Reese's. We actually have a lot of Reese's left over from Halloween. So he's been going through that. He has the bigger version that I got for him in 2018. The reindeer is actually sitting on his nightstand over there. And it is just the cutest little reindeer and it has a friend now. So he has two and he has two cups, a mini version and a huge version. So. Yeah, that was only like five bucks, I guess. And then like the big version was 11. Then we got an extension cord because with all the lights that I need to put up, I needed an extension cord. This was a white 15 foot one. You can't have too many extension cords when you have 50 million Christmas lights all over your apartment, right? Now we're getting to the good stuff. So first up, I just got this glitter white drape. I don't know if I'm going to put it behind me on the bookshelf like snow is falling like put it as like a tablecloth or whatever but I got that I'm gonna get these out of the way because these keep on ringing I shouldn't have bought jingle bells but I did I'm gonna put these on the wreath that you saw earlier because the other ones didn't jingle and I wanted jingle bells I used to love putting this on my dog who unfortunately passed away this year she didn't mind the jingle bell but she was deaf the second half of her life or getting there. So maybe that's why she couldn't hear the jingle bell when um, she was coming to me. But I always loved putting like a little bell on her to notify where she was. So yeah, it's just really cute, 99 cents. And you can twist tie it onto the wreath. These are really loud. I'm going to put these to the side. Next up, I got this sign. This is the cutest thing ever. I have one in red and gold. And this one is going to match my Christmas tree theme here in my room perfectly. These are the colors that I want here in my room. It is this pretty light blue color or teal, baby pink, silver, and white. This is just the perfect color scheme. So I got that. It's so cute and I love the glitter on it. I might hang it up behind me and yeah I just thought it was cute so pick that up. Speaking of blue I wanted to add in some blue into the theme this year because the comforter set that I bought has this color in it and I thought I would add it to my Christmas tree so I just got some blue glitter snowflakes that are going to drop glitter 
all over my room not looking forward to that but at least everything will be sparkly so those are 99 cents then i just got some blue glittery flowers because why not and i got a sign it says joy i was going to put it behind me as well on the bookshelf it has diamonds on it again blue and pink i like it it was 2.49 so i pick that up and it's going to go great with the other sign last thing in here is two houses i suppose i'm creating a christmas village without even thinking so these are cute i still love my hot pink so i got a hot pink house this was just 99 cents to stand again behind me and then this however is an ornament but it's like a snow globe and it has a house as well and i just thought it was cute i'm not going to use it as an ornament i'm going to use it to put beside the house and this was 249 as well but it was so good and i don't think it's glass i think it is like a hard acrylic plastic so yeah i just thought that was cute it was pink and yeah I'm surprised that the 99 cent store is stepping up their decoration game because I've never seen this before and it's really cute. So that is the last thing I bought at the 99 cent store, I believe. The last store I went to is Marshall's, but before I show you the items that I got, I thought I would share with you a little like backstory story time. So my mom used to work at this particular Marshall's that I went to back in. 93 to 96 i was a little tiny baby slash toddler when she worked there i can actually insert a picture i believe i have of me and my grandma in my halloween costume when we visited there so here is that i think it's super cute hopefully i do have that picture so she first got hired there when that store was brand new back then and she always told me how fun it was to work she worked from being a cashier all the way up to a head manager today i I finally went in and if you didn't know my mom passed away in 2020 unfortunately so it was hard walking into that store knowing she worked there I wanted to buy something there just to have that Christmas decoration that will always like have meaning to it and I'll remember her by so I picked that up and I think it was a sign because <laughs> the thing that I bought did not have a price so they had to call the head manager over now this thing is gonna have meaning and i'm going to be proudly displaying it in my living room on the windowsill so everyone else can see it as well as me so that is a really long story i'm sorry but i really wanted to share that with you so i'm gonna show you what i got because i probably hyped it up so much by now and all it is this merry christmas sign i don't have a sign that actually says says Merry Christmas on it. I have a banner and then I have everything else but not a sign. I love the glittery font on it and if you can see all around it there is no price tag. This is just a label right here but no price tag. The lady couldn't find it either. So the thing that I wanted out of the whole entire store didn't have a price tag. So I'm taking it as a sign that it was her so yeah this is the piece <laughs> probably not that interesting it rung up to be $8.99 if you were curious <laughs> but yeah that is the sign that I got and I also got one more thing I got kitchen towels it's not that exciting as I said I wanted to decorate my kitchen so I just got three different pretty kitchen towels we needed them anyways so these were $6.99 and I love the patterns and they just match the color theme of my living room. Those are the two things that I got at Marshall's. I'm really happy. It did make me sad to go in. It's a little bittersweet, but I enjoyed my trip there and I got to share with you a little story about that. So that concludes everything that I bought. There you have it. That was my Christmas decorate shop with me plus haul video of 2021. I'll make sure to link everything that I mentioned down below in the description if you want to check it out from Target and Walmart. I know I can link a lot of those. The 99 cent store stuff and Marshall stuff, unfortunately, I don't think I can. But 
Thank you for clicking on the links. If you do, I really appreciate it. Stay tuned for my decorating video. There's going to be two separate ones. One where I decorate my living room, the Christmas tree, the kitchen, and the bathroom. And then a separate one where I will do my bedroom plus the bookshelves behind me. I'm so excited for this. Stay tuned for that one. And I just can't wait to see all these decorations put into place. I'll also be doing Vlogmas. So that is where I vlog every day in december all the way up to the lead up of christmas so i can't wait for that hopefully i get through it you'll see more decorating videos probably there more of my life more of these decorations more story times maybe as well make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on all the holiday and christmas videos i have planned for you and that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll talk to you in my next video bye everyone